son, last time you've done that, I lost my eyebrows, had to grow them back. You're cooking with Hurley Ray and Chuck. We're down here on Main Street of town, and we got a new restaurant in town. And Chuck, you know, I stuck my head in the door. Boy, it looked good, yeah. Now, hold on a second. You better specify what street, what town. We down here in Pasadena, <laughs> Mississippi, and, man, and when Dale I was Mass in there, Avenue. Hey, when I was in there, I thought I was on Gulf Shore. <laughs> <laughs> you ready to get a margarita, huh? Hey, hey, no, I was just going to stop over by the floor of Bama, but it, we ain't there. No. We're in Pasadena, Mississippi. That's exactly right. You ain't going to believe when you come Lay back and place. be comfortable and enjoy it. it. It's got that vibe. Well, anyways, we are here with Nicole and... No, you're supposed to speak, baby. Because <laughs> she's going to speak for him anyways. This is one of them married things. And he is? Nick. Nick, which is her husband. See, this is just like that standard married couple. She's going to speak for him, and he's going to stand there and say, say yes, yes. ma'am. Right. See, that's how it works. So how long y'all been open, babe? We've been open since the first of the year. First of the year. So we're looking about, uh, two, what, two and a half months? About two and a half I'm working months. on three. Yep. All right. And, and he, the, your place is Cabanas downtown. What, why, why Cabanas? It just sounded warm and tropical and fun. <laughs> warm, tropical, fun. I'm thinking that that's half the battle, ain't it? You know, it looks like a lot of homework in on the inside of that, too. I'm telling you, a lot, a lot of work. The, the one thing I did notice is that y'all got the surfboard vibe, and it does. It, it makes it like, like it's almost Layback. a golf short thing, you know? And I look at that menu, a very, very um, Gulf Coast uh, feel to it. Uh, I saw there was a little coconut shrimp. Yes, Anna, I'm talking about coconut shrimp. They make it here by hand. We're going to show you how that's done. And uh, I saw there was uh, tuna on there and some nice salads. I mean, mm -hmm. what what was the, uh, tell me about how you come up with that menu. We just, when we decided we wanted the restaurant, I said, if I'm going to have to be in there all day, every day, <laughs> I want it to feel like a beach. I said, make it laid back, fun, headache free. How cool is that? So. Uh, You've been open almost, going on three months. You got, and what are your hours? That's probably important because people are going to say, man, I saw that place, and what's the hours of the place? We're open um, Monday through Wednesday, 11 a.m. to 9, and then Thursday, Friday, we're open from 11 a.m. to midnight, and then Saturday, 5 p.m. to midnight. Outstanding. So uh, is there uh, any chance that at some point in time there'll be a little live music around here somewhere? Or? Hopefully starting in April we'll um, have uh, some live bands in here. We've got enough room for them. Oh, you do? You got a, a, a Boy, it. It holds a room. lot of people. It's just it's misleading when you see a small door and a small front and when you walk in there it's so deep. You ain't going to believe how big this place is inside and, and the, the feel of it. You're going to see when we get inside. If somebody's got a company and wants a party and needs a room, I'm telling you, they can feed a bunch of people in here one time. That's a really good idea. I mean, uh, when you go inside, you're going to see it. The expanse is, is pretty impressive. And uh, they also have, you know, little places that you can get off to the side. I like that little room up front. What's that all about? <laughs> that is going to be for smaller parties and catering events for anybody. We can fit between 35 and 50 people in there, depending on how we see it. That's like a shower thing or maybe a bachelorette thing. Or... We can use it for just about anything. <laughs> <laughs> you know, well, Chuck, one thing about it here, you know, you see it in progress in motion. You know, every day they're doing a little bit more. So if you come in here today, come back tomorrow, it's going to be changed a little bit. So oh. it's an ongoing project they do it. I know they showed me. They said, this is the new menu. I said, you've been open two and a half months. He said, well, we've tweaked it a little bit. <laughs> so we're going to highlight the new menu mm -hmm. and the new hours. Please give them your number. It is 228-202-8022. My, a lot of twos there, Pop. Uh, a lot of you know twos. Dial down the middle. I'm, I'm thinking the two horse in the second race. No, anyways. <laughs> We are at Cabanas here in downtown Pascagoula, Cooler. Mississippi. That's right. We ain't on Gulf Shores. We ain't out by Fort Morgan. And we just, we, and we ain't nowhere close to the floor of Bama. Although that's a good vibe. When you walk in here, you're going to feel that. We're definitely going to, we got to go inside. We're going to show you the place. And uh, we're going to get back in the kitchen. We're going to make a little of them coconut shrimp. Sure are. And somebody said something about a hurricane. Not the alcoholic type. <laughs> it's the fish type. It's the fish type. So uh, we're going to tell you all about the hurricane here at Cabana. So when you get a chance, come on down to downtown Pascagoula. Come inside and tell them Hurley Ray and Chuck sent you, and you're ready to uh, a little bit of that beach vibe. So come and see what's going on. And you don't have to get sand in your shoes. <laughs> <laughs> but let's go inside and see what's going on. You're cooking with Hurley Ray and Chuck. Boy, this is a unique place. And Chuck, you know, we've been telling us about the history here. And a lot of people don't know it, that this building's been here through Katrina, you know, all the hurricanes, and it's still in force. So, and they got a vista they want to talk about. All right, Nicole. Now, we're talking about how old is this building? 
We've dated it back to the late 1800s. It's one of the original buildings of Scranton, Mississippi, in okay. Pascagoula. All right, let's see. And where is the line where the bakery started? It's started, it was actually next door. It was a stick right. frame building next door. And that's where in the 1920s, when downtown caught on fire, that's where it started. So the bakery started all this. The bakery oh, started the man. Whole mess. <laughs> so we are we are like ground zero for why we burnt Pascagoula down. Yes. Okay, all right. So did that's they, cool. Did they pin it on somebody? I don't know if they ever <laughs> pinned it on somebody. But. Hey, hold a second. That's one of them cold cases. We don't want to open that. Yeah. All right, so somebody said that y'all have a somebody that's not exactly here that hangs out and kind of visits in the kitchen? We do have a visitor every once in a while. Man, how cool is that? He's a calm little guy. Just And we have an idea who it is? Well, after doing some hit, some research on it, we went down and asked the um, town historian and did some research ourselves. And the only person that died in the fire died in the bakery. Um, the book that was published on the fire named him as Cornelius Canty, but after doing research pulling up records from the time, um, we discovered that his name might have been Malcolm Canty. Malcolm Canty, and he was 16 years old, I 16 understand. 16-year-old kid so, who worked in the bakery. But, but not, not, not mischievous, but he does, what, what else does he do? You'll be in here at night after we're closing up. You'll hear the back door open, and you can hear him walk through the kitchen and start cooking <laughs> <laughs> almost every night. And you'll go back there, and there'll be nothing? Nothing. Man, how cool is that? Now, and that's before they get their liquor license, okay? <laughs> I want to point that out. Speaking of your liquor license, I know that you have cold beer on, but when do you get your liquor license? We should have it the 1st of April. So the 1st of April, if you come down here, you may see a ghost, but it wasn't really a ghost, but no, really. <laughs> um, and uh, we're talking about your grand opening. So you've been open, but your grand opening is going to be? Next Thursday, the... 26. 26. So if you're watching this, you're missing the grand opening at Cabanas here in well, downtown Pascagoula. You know, they might want to come down here and visit us. We'll <laughs> probably be here at that grand That's opening. That's it. You know, when you get done, when you get done watching us, come on down because we'll probably be sitting around here somewhere eating some coconut shrimp or having a hurricane or something. That's right. But uh, so liquor license on a first. Everything's moving forward. Everybody's got a nice positive vibe to it. We are ready to go, and ready you, for the summer. And you got an extra person you ain't got to pay. That's some good uh, stuff exactly. there. That's what I'm talking about. So, the, that's who puts that little extra thing in there, <laughs> that, that's, that's that land yap? Yeah. So, the thing is, is that we've got it going on. Everything's going good. We're going to grand open. We're going to have a great time. Y'all going to come down and pass a good time with us. But the key to any good restaurant is the kitchen. Yes. So, who, who runs the kitchen back there? We all kind of have a stake oh, in it. Okay. You'll find me back there. You'll find him back there. You'll find our cooks back there. Well, I, I miss, was it Celeste? Celeste, yes. Celeste was telling me that she's, uh, she kind of has the, the, the touch and the feel back there. I understand that. She's got one of the white coats. When somebody got a white coat, they're usually in charge of cooking. I don't yeah, know what's going on. Like a doctor in his. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Got that smock, you're good. When you're, you're buttoned up, you're ready to roll. So, um, I'll tell so, you right now. One, one more little thing. You know, as you come in here and you're looking at the decor here, you know, who was responsible and who designed all of this? Uh-oh. Of course, truly. My goodness. And, and you should go like this. Right? <laughs> see, see how he that had works? no part in this whatsoever. <laughs> oh, yeah. No, he just built the whole place. <laughs> the thing that you, you get a chance to come here, you've got the exposed brick on the back side, and you can tell that's been there quite a while. Um, they have that a section off room in front. We're going to show you that. It feels going to be good enough. Got a little cabana when you walk in. Nice, expansive bar. And you sit, now hold on a second. 100 years ago, this place was a what? It was a bar. Bar saloon, ago, right? Bar saloon. It has come back. Hey, hey, hey. You know the thing about history. If you don't watch it, it's going to repeat <laughs> itself, all right? So we're going to take a break, and when we come back, you know us. If you see smoke in the house, ain't no fire. It's Hurley Ray and Chuck come past a good time. We're going to be back in the kitchen. We're going to try it. We're going to see what we can do about making some of them coconut shrimp and a hurricane and whatever else we can get our fingers into. So come back and see what we're doing. Let's go to the kitchen. <laughs> All right, you're cooking with Hurley Ray and Chuck, and we in Chuck's element. We in the kitchen. That's kind of like the meat of the coconut. Chuck, this is one of the things we come for, to see the back room and get a little hands-on. And I think you hit it right on the head. We're talking coconut. We're talking about coconut shrimp. So please, Nicole, walk us through what you do. Because I Now, hold on a second. I'm going to show you all. I'm going to sneak a little bit. They ain't going to tell me what the secret is, but if you look here, there's flour, and there's brown sugar, and there's coconut, and there's some other stuff they ain't going to tell us about. Yeah. 
But that's the batter, right? That's the basis for the batter. And of course, this is the part I love, Gulf shrimp, fresh. We're not talking frozen, we're talking about fresh Gulf shrimp. Now, I noticed that we're doing this because it's the TV whole nine yards, but you actually batter them up and then freeze them, right? They have to freeze till they're rock solid. Rock solid before they deep fry them. That way they get that nice crispy coating on the outside and the shrimp is cooked inside, right? right? Yeah, because our freezers actually sit at like negative one, two to get those as hard as we possibly can. Well, let's go ahead and go through the process. And I know you, she's going to pull some out and deep fry them because, you know, we got to sample some of these special <laughs> ingredients and all. So please, after y'all. Now, you notice she's going to do the talking and he's going to do the work. <laughs> I like the way this works. It's just like it is at my house. Anna does that also. So he goes ahead and he's going ahead and butterfly them. Butterfly all the shrimp. All right. Nice and plump when they fry up. And, and we were talking about your supplier. Her supplier uh, for most of uh, the inside the kitchen is a good friend of ours. And Hurley Ray and I, we deal with her all the time. Brenda over at Family Frozen. She is my lifesaver. <laughs> that is my go-to girl. If well, I need anything, got questions on anything, she can pull it off. How great is that? I mean, to have somebody local that can go to all the outside purveyors, they know all the insides and outs right. and all the new products, and, and all you got to do is make a phone call. All you got to do is make a phone call. She deals with so many distributors. It's wonderful. And you know, one of the things go ahead, man. Show us how it's done. It, I'm it, watching it, Nick, all right? It stops at, at trial and error because people's already tried it and, and Brenda can give you a shortcut say look here's how you think we need to uh, you need to do it exactly oh right, so you got a double dip batter thing going on that's what I'm talking about that gets that nice thick batter it's like a lot of people you'll see when they do when they dredge something they'll go ahead and run it on a dry flour and then go ahead and give it egg wash and then do it here because of that coconut that brown sugar they do that one one dip they come back, they hit it again, and then do it that second time because it's a nice thick crust. Of course, we're going to deep fry it and give it to the old taste test also. So, what made you? How did you come up with this recipe? This is his recipe. Oh, this one. Oh, oh, oh. By the way, if y'all don't know, Nick is also one of our uh, one of our finest first responders. He is a fireman for Pascagoula Fire Department. I take it. How awesome is that? That's now, right. That's because your wife said you're going to have other stuff to do, and I know firemen know how to. The two things I got an uncle that's a fireman, and two things they know how to do is eat, well, eat and cook, sleep. Three things they know how to do: eat, cook, and sleep. They're good at those things. <laughs> but let me tell you right now, you know when the rubber meets the road. God bless the firemen, the police department, the armed forces of the United States, because they take care of us. Again, so Nick came up with this. This is his recipe. That's why we, well. He's doing it because she told him to. But <laughs> she, he's going to demonstrate it for us. But you see that that double that double battering boy that makes that nice thick crust. So now, once all we right. get them all battered and everything, you deep I freeze them. Yes. Chuck, you want to go ahead and let her start talking about your tuna and why we're getting this here. All right. Well, are you going to do kebabs next, or we're going to do the hurricane next? We can Which do one? kebabs next. All right, we're going to do the kebabs next. You know what? Let's go ahead and take a break. When we come back, we're going to do kebabs. And after that, we're going to go into Hurricane. So come on back and see what Nicole's telling Nick to do in the kitchen <laughs> here at Cabanas. Come on back. Yeah, let's do it. You're cooking with Hurley Ray and Chuck. We didn't have in the kitchen. Fine piece of tuna steak there. I'm good gracious, Chuck. I, I think that's got my name on it. Put it this way. Uh, if it ain't got your name on it, I know somebody will stand in line and get <laughs> the next piece. So, Go ahead, Nicole, please walk us through this. Now, this is part of your hurricane, right? This is the blackened hurricane. All right, well, come on, show me what you got, Nick. <laughs> so I noticed you, if you look over here, he's got him a nice uh, hot pan. He's got a little blackened. And I asked him, he ain't going to tell me they make their own blackened seasoning. With a little bit of oil, they got that, that pan's going to be nice and smoking. Look at that. Nice and hot. Got the seasoning in there. He's going to throw that tuna to it. They're going to blacken it up. Now. What all goes into the, uh, a hurricane? It is blackened tuna topped with our homemade um, crawfish shrimp seafood sauce and then topped with crab. Crawfish shrimp seafood sauce. Now what all is that? What goes in that? That is, it's just an au gratin based seafood sauce and we're not giving it away. <laughs> an au gratin based, that means it's uh, some kind of fancy cheese sauce, uh, seafood thing that they ain't going to tell me what's in it. Is that right? I, I think I got that. what she said. You just better come down here and eat it, and you try to figure out what's in it. <laughs> all right. Sorry, Nick. So Put on this gonna... Bob. Now, we fixed to get in something good, Chuck. 
All right, and I think uh, he's eating up the uh, the hurricane sauce. Was that? That's a that, hurricane that's sauce. That's that Algranton Bay seafood. They ain't gonna tell me the secret sauce <laughs> that he's eating up over there next to the blackened tuna. So we're gonna do now a little kebab action, right? Kebabs. All right, Nick. It's 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 tough being a muscle around this joint, ain't it? <laughs> All right, so uh, what, 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 uh, what's a, what's what you learn that, that is? Another secret we're not letting out. <laughs> another secret you're not letting out, so. It's got, uh, beef that marinates for at least 24 hours. 24 hour marination, marinade. okay. A little white onion, a little green pepper, a little white onion. Nice, uh, nice, oh, there you go. Whole tomato, very nice. You what got, do we say, Chuck? It's got to look good before it tastes good. Well, they, you know, the eye eats first, and we've learned that, that a long time. That is true. Presentation makes a big difference. Presentation sure makes does. a world of difference. You hear that, 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 that bubbling in the background? That's them coconut shrimp. And then, of course, we got that tuna over there and that uh, secret sauce that's warming up. <laughs> you reckon you come out here late at night and the little man will tell you <laughs> what's in it, Chuck? Or he adds something to it. But I'm thinking he's probably got some more special stuff he does that he ain't going to tell us about either. Well, I tell you right now, Nicole, it's it's obvious that you've got Nick well trained, <laughs> and uh, don't worry, Anna's got me well trained too. Those of you that know me know that's the truth. But uh, it makes a difference when the owners are in the kitchen, and you can tell you won't have a plate to come out just right. That's right, and you can tell it's top shelf. Everything is nice and fresh. I like the way you do business here. So, you know what? We're going to get out of Nick's way because. Uh, it's time for him to continue cooking because I want to try some of that hurricane, some of them coconut shrimp, some of this kebab. So how about we go out, out front, and when Nick gets done, we're going to sit down and we're going to sample this and tell you all about it. So Let's come on. Let's roll. <laughs> So, we just got through looking at the kitchen. They've got it all cooking. Smells real good. My goodness. And it was nice enough Nicole released Nick from the kitchen to come <laughs> join us. But, you know, I was sitting here looking and, you know, me being an inquisitive person, I, I'm looking here at, uh, man, you got some nice uh, specials. Money Lo Moho. Uh, poor Boy, we didn't talk about, tell me about Moho Poor Boy. It is actually one of our best sellers. It is um, marinated pork. It is a 12 to 18 hour process. Oh, oh, oh. It is forever It kind of melts. It melts. <laughs> we Sounds don't good. pull it apart, we let it fall apart. And then uh, Taco Tuesdays. Taco Tuesdays. Very nice. Uh, you got some of them wings in uh, the domestics on uh, Wednesday? Yes. That's kind of wins, Wednesday and wings, that works. Wing well, Wednesday. How do you do your wings? They're actually um, tossed in jerk sauce. Oh, so that, that Caribbean feel. There it's you something go. something you've never had and they're so good. And uh, Nick was telling me earlier that he makes his own jerk sauce. Mm -hmm. So I'm, 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 I'm all about trying that. And then Thursdays, we've got a little oysters on a half shell and uh, yes. domestic buckets. Very nice. And who does all the shucking? Our bartender, Doug. <laughs> Doug is the man with a shucking knife. That's what he I'm is thinking. the man with the shucking knife. So, so Thursday, now during the grand open, is he going to be shucking oysters too? He's going to be doing a little bit of everything. Oh, man, I'm going to tell you right now, we got to they come. They need to son. come down here and see me and you because we're going to be down <laughs> that, here. That's right. So if you're watching this and you don't get in your car and come down to the cabana, you're missing Hurley Rain Chuck <laughs> having a good time right here. <laughs> we're going to be right here. <laughs> so surf and turf on Friday. Mm -hmm. What entails the surf and turf? Steak and shrimp. Steak Choice. and shrimp. Choice. Could it get better? Choice ribeye. Not much. Not Unless much. Unless just more of it. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, I, I had a guy when I was on ship, he used to... Every Friday he used to serve surf and turf. He served hot dogs and fish sticks. <laughs> <laughs> All right, now, this, this is near and dear to my wife's heart. My wife and daughter, are got, they got, their whole body's one big sweet tooth. I look back here on the back, a little desserts, little, them sweet bites. And you said they're all, where where they come from? One of our waitresses actually makes them. She gets back in there and slaves over the kitchen and oh. makes us our desserts. Well, you got a talented crew. I do have a talented crew. Yeah, you're blessed, darling. I you're am. blessed. What's this? Key lime cheese. That's like combining oh. two of the best desserts ever. It is to die for. It is to, my daughter's going to have praline cheesecake. Mm -hmm. There's nothing wrong with that. What's wrong with a praline? Not a thing in the world. <laughs> unless, it, unless it's just one, we need two of them. <laughs> That's right. Because, well, you know Hurley Ray and I, we, we ain't splitting too many of them desserts. Uh, you got a little uh, three layer German? Yes, had to throw in the chocolate. Oh man, that, that's a must, right? And then somebody said you got a bad, bad red velvet cake. Because that's his favorite, so I had Give to keep him that. happy. That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> red velvet cake's where it's at. Mm -hmm. I'm telling you, there's nothing like it. And who makes that frosting? The, our waitress does. Dear waitress, God bless her. She is amazing. Oh, that, I'm telling you right, and what's her name? 
Sarah. Sarah. So if uh, the desserts are done by Sarah, the oysters are sucked by Doug, and then uh, Nick is usually in the back in the kitchen. <laughs> Slaving. 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 You know what? We're waiting on that. Uh, it's time for us to come eating time. That's right. A little sampling. So we're going to go to a break. When you come back, Hurley Ray and I and Nicole and Nick, we're going to be sampling here at Cabanas on Delmas down in Pascagoula, Mississippi. Come on back and see what a good spread we got. And when you're watching mm -hmm. this next week, come on down here and join us. You, then you don't have to say, I'll see y'all or, or tell them, hurry and Chuck sent you. Just come on down here and see us, and we're going to say hello to you. There you go. We'll be at the grand opening. Come on back. Chuck, look at these coconut shrimp. Have you ever seen anything look better Man, than that? And the thing is, you can tell that those are hand double-dipped hand-breaded. Yeah, that's not a pro <laughs> product no, right no, that, there. That's, that's a, Nick's special recipe. I, I, I was told with to tell you love and care right there, <laughs> partner. I'm telling you, they look good, they smell good, and I can't wait to taste one. I'll tell you, the thing is, did, did you try this? I'm fixing to. It's a pina colada dipping sauce. My goodness. Man, God. I'm going to tell you right now, who come up with that? No, Man, I'm I came up with Now, hold a second. <laughs> now, you notice, Nick said it was me, and Nicole said, no, it wasn't. It was me. I'm not getting involved in that, okay? The one thing is, is that the flavor is absolutely fabulous. The, look, now, look at that. That's the hurricane. Now, I have a weakness for things uh, of the tuna family. Look how mm, pretty that that's is. That's right, Chuck. Ooh, son. Oh. I hate that. You can't cut it. It just falls apart. Mmm. Nice blackened seasoning. My comes goodness, through. Bob, it is good. Now, this was a shish kebab. Now, look, boy, these are great. When you see them put together like that, they, he didn't unwrap them and put them in. So, and you said that's just now coming onto the menu, right? It was on the menu, and these are the new ones that are coming back on Friday. Tomorrow. Mm. And look at the steamed vegetables. That, that is, really looks good in itself. What, what all do you have in your steamed vegetables? They are. Um, Green beans, yellow carrots, red peppers, and broccoli. Great. I can't get over that sauce. It has a very mild cheese flavor, mm -hmm. but you can taste the seafood in it. And that, is that a little bit of crab meat on top there mm -hmm. that I sense? Yep. Mm -hmm. And of course, is it now, is it a yellow rice or is that a saffron rice? It is a yellow rice and it has jalapenos and coconut milk in it. All right, now now they done hit me where I belong, right? <laughs> Man, I tell you, Hurley Ray, you know, I'm gonna hate to do this to you. I'm just gonna reach over here. That, that's the nice part about, if you notice, shrimp come with a handle. You gotta love that now. Mmm. <laughs> Chuck, it all looks good, doesn't it? And it tastes good, yeah. That's the problem. It tastes more better than it looks. <laughs> Again, when they watching this next Thursday, I'm gonna say, y'all come on down here and visit Chuck and Hurley Ray and, and you know. You know, when you get here, Nicole and Nick are gonna be here. They may be, Nick may be locked up in the kitchen working, <laughs> but he gonna be here. Nicole can tell you right now, you come tell, ask her, she's gonna tell you anything you wanna know about the restaurant. We're gonna have big time behind the bar. I mean, his name is? Doug. Doug, the savior with the shucking knife is gonna be behind <laughs> the bar. And you know, I hate to do this, but I'm gonna do this because I'm gonna take one for the team. Now, key lime cheesecake, let me. <laughs> All right, I just went into insulin shock. Oh my God, is that delicious. Got a nice key lime flavor to it. Really, really creamy, absolutely gorgeous. Well, I'm going to tell you right now, Nicole and Nick, God bless y'all. We are glad that you opened here in Pascagoula. Can't wait for that opening night. We can only wish you the best of Thank luck. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Thank you. And again, if you see smoke and that house ain't on fire, it's early Ray and Chuck. Come pass a good time. And if you're down here on Thursday, if you get done watching this, come pass a good time with Hurley Ray and Chuck. Here we come going here. Here on Delmas in beautiful downtown Pascagoula, Mississippi. Come pass a good time with us.